let's get started. Hello my loves and welcome back to another episode of Josh's Way. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's video. So for today's video, I will be diving into the world of upcycling some of my old clothes. So I've seen a bunch of videos like this on YouTube and I decided, you know what, I might as well put myself to the test because it might be a little bit fun to challenge myself to and see what I can come up with. And that's what I will be doing today. <laughs> Hopefully I can come up with something a bit interesting. If not, I just ruined some of my clothing pieces but <laughs> it's challenge for all of us so I picked out four items within my closet that I feel like need a little bit of a revamp just because I don't wear them enough and I feel like because they need a revamp or because I don't wear them enough they need a revamp <laughs> in order to try and make me wear them again so we will be turning four items and try and turning them into something cool something cute that I will be wearing so if you want to see how I upcycle and upgrade these four pieces, stay tuned till the end of the video to see all of the results. But before we get started, I just wanted to remind you all that if you have not subscribed to my channel already, you can go ahead and do so. Also give this video a thumbs up and also put the bell notification on so that way you wouldn't miss out on any of my new videos. And remember, I post every Thursday because Thursdays are for Josh's way. So with that out of the way, <laughs> let's try it. Huh? <laughs> Let's dive into this video. So the first clothing piece that I will be trying to transforming is this one right here Which are these shorts? I've worn these shorts quite a little bit I've had these for quite some time now actually, but I haven't worn them in such a long time They've literally just been sitting in my closet only because I don't know like obviously everyone's style changes and I feel like my style used to be this however it's not really this anymore i'm really into short shorts as you can see i wear very short shorts and i don't know this just doesn't really scream or appeal to me anymore so i'm gonna try and change that and see what we can do about that so we're going to try and revamp this and turn it into a what do you call it shredded shorts oh my god what do you call it again distress that's the word i'm looking for so we'll be turning this into a shorter pair of shorts and also distressed them yes i hope i'm making sense but <laughs> let's just do that now all right my love so here we are on the floor <laughs> so what we will be doing first with these shorts is cutting them up so grab your scissors and you're going to cut these shorts in an angle so that way it complements your figure and it's not just a blunt straight line so i'm just going to be doing that on both sides so i'm doing it first on one side then i'm folding it up in half like so see it's like slanted then you fold it up in half and you're going to cut up with that same measurement basically do the same thing on the other side And once you have them cut it up, it should look like this and you have a pile of mess. So now what we're going to do is we're going to distress them. So you're going to take your pair of tweezers and you're literally going to tweeze the ends of the shorts where you just cut them. Literally make them look <laughs> distressed. <laughs> like rip them up as much as you can. The messier it looks at the bottom, the better. And this part really takes a while. So be prepared to really be tweezing for a little bit. So it should look something like this, all the stressed up and stuff. <laughs> so basically do the same thing to the other side. I'm not going to be filming the other side because that'll take like a long time. But basically you're going to do the same thing to the other side, scrunch them up and it should look something like this. So now what we'll be doing is we'll be adding that same type of texture, like a ripped up texture to the shorts itself. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to cut up your shorts into three different stripes or like three individual stripes like so i'll be doing a close-up soon but basically what we'll be doing is we'll be tweezing these as well so after you have your three little stripes like that your three little cut-ups and with the tweezer again you're going to be tweezing the top layer of that little section so you're just going to be ripping off the top layer so that way it reveals 
the type of ripped up texture i hope i hope i'm making sense but you're literally tweezing and taking away the top layer so it looks something like this so you're revealing the underneath layer parts and it should look something like this all crunkled up and stuff and you're going to do this process with the entire part that you just cut up So then after you're done tweezing, you should have something like this. And that's basically everything I'm going to do with these shorts. And then I'm going to put them in the dryer to rip them up even more. And then you will have the end result. So the next clothing piece that I will be transforming is this one right here. Now this is a pair of black skinny jeans that I don't wear anymore only because I kind of replaced them with another black pair of jeans. So I don't really wear this much, this as much anymore. However, I think it's still pretty, the only thing, mm. <laughs> we'll try. Yeah, so these aren't the prettiest jeans anymore, which is why I bought another black skin jean. However, I feel like we can still work with this and we can still turn this into something. Plus, my currently distressed pair of black shorts got ruined in the dryer, so I kind of want to replace that. And this is a perfect chance. So let's turn these into shorts as well. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so on to the next pair. So I originally wanted to turn these into distressed shorts. However, I decided to try something different. So what I will be doing is just cut them up to the preferred length that I want. And instead of shredding them up and making them look distressed, I will be folding them and I will be sewing those folds in place. So I'll be showing you guys how I do that in a little bit. So after I'm done cutting them up like so, I will be folding them up like this so have like a cute little fold and then i'm going to sew these folds in place so i hope i'm making sense with that but here's me struggling <laughs> here's me struggling to sew them i literally cannot sew anything else on my point shoes so this was a fun little experiment for me as well but i think they turned out cute hope you hopefully you guys agree So after struggling, <laughs> these are the end shorts. I think they look pretty okay. I think they look pretty cute. So the next clothing piece that I will be changing is this one right here. To me personally, this is very boring. This is a shirt that, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I actually got this as a Christmas present, but not to be mean, not to be shady, but it's just that I wouldn't really wear this. It's like missing something. It's, I don't know. I wouldn't like wear it as it is. So I'm going to try and change that. Maybe I'll turn it into a crop top or maybe I'll cut the sleeves up. I don't know. But we will be turning this into something cute, hopefully. So yeah, let's do that now. All right, so for this shirt, I decided to just turn it into a gym t-shirt thing. I don't know. I don't really see myself wearing this like anywhere else than the gym maybe so i decided to turn these into a cute little tank top for the gym 
um, I kind of really messed up the neckline a little bit, <laughs> so it kind of looked crooked. However, I tried to fix it, but I guess I'll fix it a bit later. So I'm just cutting up the neckline, and then I will be cutting off the sleeves to turn them into a tank top. And then I also will be cutting up the bottom just to make them a bit shorter. And yeah, so enjoy the process of me doing this. And after snipping, snipping, and snipping away, this is the end result. <laughs> And the last clothing item that I will be transforming is this one right here. Now these are a pair of shorts by Fashion Nova. And when I first bought these pair of shorts, I loved them just because they had the mesh sides. I was, when I saw this, I was obsessed with the mesh size and I wore it quite a couple of times. But the only thing that I realized is that I don't really like the color of it. The color is honestly really off. Usually a lot of my clothing pieces and a lot of the things that I have in my closet, I do like to wear with black and white and anything of that like color. Even though it's a really pretty color, I do like the beige color. I just feel like the beige and black don't really go together. So what I will be doing for this pair is I will be dyeing it black so that way everything is just one solid black color and i feel like that would really match up with the mesh as well so we will be dying this hopefully it doesn't get messy but we will be dying this <laughs> right now so let's get to it are you filming hmm? heavy oh my god come up <laughs> you bad <laughs> soik all right guys so we're in like the ghetto because I don't have any gloves. <laughs> get so I'm using just plastic bags. You do know that there's gloves. There's no gloves. Are oh, you stupid? Where's gloves? <laughs> <laughs> there's gloves, but you told me that there weren't any gloves. <laughs> you literally told me there was no gloves. There's no gloves. I swear there were. No, there's no. Anyway. Yeah, anyway, so. Alright, so we are now going to dye this. These pair of shorts right here. So I have my little bucket. And it's filled with hot water. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the dye in here. These motherfuckers coming undone. So we have all the dye powder, and now I'm going to grab my little spoon, and we're going to... A spoon. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone know where that's from? No. You don't know where that's from? Uncultured. Now we're going to take this. Look what we're going to do. Whoop. Wow. Mmm, look at all that poison. What if I dropped your phone for effects? <laughs> what if I pour this on your head? <laughs> for effects. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to let this sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to say 30 because I really want this bitch to be saturated. So we'll be back in 30 minutes. <laughs> the way this thing is filmed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, part 2. It's been 30 minutes, and I think it's been saturated enough. Hopefully it is. It looks pitch black, so... This is what we're gonna do now, so we're going to just... Look at that! That's black. That's why I don't shower in this <laughs> Okay, so we're just gonna plot this on the floor real quick, and we're gonna bring this on the side for a little bit. 
And now we are going to. Oh, oh. shit. That looks purple. Can you not? I'm filming this for free, <laughs> Becky. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to. I can see shit, did you? <laughs> we're going to have what will film better. I don't exactly have the equipment. What? <laughs> <laughs> So this is gonna take a while. I ain't standing here for that long. Alright, so I'm just gonna finish washing this off and I'll be back with the results. Okay guys, so this is officially a fail. This part really failed so bad. So as you can see, it has like splotches everywhere. And it turned out like this blue color instead of this black. So what I have to do with these is I actually have to dye it again. However, because I ran out of dye, I couldn't like re-dye them for this video. So this one completely failed. So it's like this, like basically all around. Like all around, like it's all around, like every single part. However, the one thing that I really love about the short is like the sides. Like, do you see how it's like mesh, like all over? So like you can see my tattoo, for example, like it's a really skimpy, <laughs> it's a really skimpy like shorts, but it's really pretty and I really like it. I just didn't really like the color, so I tried, but like, yeah, this one's a fail. Like there's like splotches everywhere, so. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't really make this work. <laughs> okay, guys. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. It was so much fun transforming these and really trying to see what I can come up with this. I wasn't as creative as I thought it would be. However, it was still kind of cute to like see these transform from their original state to something that I would now wear. So I'm really happy because I just feel like I went shopping. Like <laughs> I have a few clothing pieces now that I would definitely add to my wear collection. So I hope you guys found this video entertaining in any way and if you have, do not forget to comment down below if you feel like you would be wearing these or if you could find a chance to upcycle your clothes if you would do it and what would you have, what would you have done differently from my clothes. Like, let's comment down below, let's have a little chat and we can talk about it and um, yeah. <laughs> so before I leave, I just wanted to let you guys know that I do have an Instagram account and I'm really, really active on there. I usually use my personal account for content creating, modeling, photos, and all that good stuff. So if you wanna go ahead and give me a follow, I will be linking everything below. I also have a graph design page for my Instagram, so if you ever need any graph design content, logos, templates, whatever, whatever, contact me down below and we can set up something so you can check out my graph design page as well. And I also have TikTok, however, TikTok is more for entertaining purposes, but you can go ahead and give me a follow as well. So I will be linking all of that down below. And again, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn that bell notification on and um, yeah so again thank you guys so so much for watching this week's video and just showing me all the love always i love you guys so much and i will see you all next week bye